Meanwhile, in Ohio, Republican plans to suppress the vote. And not just suppress the vote, but disenfranchise voters. Marches on. New York Times picks this up. Uh, Rachel Maddow has been on this story for at least a week or two. But if you live in Butler or Warren counties, in the suburbs of Cincinnati, you can vote for president starting in October with an absentee ballot. You can go to a polling place to get that absentee ballot after work, in the early evening to the mid-evening. I mean, it's late evening for those of us with children and no lives. Or on weekends. Because Republican officials in uh, those uh, counties who control the uh, Board of Elections voted to make it convenient for their residents to vote early and avoid long lines for, uh, for voting on Election Day. But if you live in Cincinnati, Republicans on the County Election Board plan to end early voting in the city at 5 p.m. And they will ban it completely on the weekends. This is according to the Cincinnati Inquirer. Hamilton County, which contains Cincinnati, is a largely Democratic county, votes solidly for Barack Obama in uh, 2008. Butler, or Warren County, lean Republican. My, my. What a tremendous coincidence. Surprise, surprise. In counties likely to vote for President Obama, Republicans have voted against the extended hours. And Ohio Secretary of State John Hosted has broken the tie in their favor. In counties likely to vote for Mitt Romney, Republicans have not objected to the extended hours. Cincinnati is 45% black. Cleveland, 53% uh, uh, black. Butler County, however, 8% black. Warren County, 3.5% black. Wow, what a shock. How completely and utterly consistent with everything we know about Republicans. Surprise, surprise. Meanwhile, in Florida, more than half of black voters went to the polls early in 2008, largely to support President Obama. So last year, in Florida, Republican lawmakers sever severely curtailed the early voting period. And now we also know uh, in Pennsylvania, uh, this voter ID law may stand. We also know from depositions in a lawsuit in Florida that the former chairman of the Republican Party in Florida says that, yeah, this was par for the course. People would, would specifically say, we're going to do things to disenfranchise black voters. And the strongest voice coming out against these tactics by Republicans? Well, of course, it's George R. R. Martin, the author of the Game of Thrones series. On his uh, blog, he writes, Republicans and their teabagger allies uh, have scant regard for our republic or its values. They are oligarchs and racists clad in the skin of dead elephants. Yeah, that's why the guy is a uh, best-selling author. And I want to remind you of what uh, Harold Meyerson wrote um, last week. I guess it was in late July. Suppose Mitt Romney ekes out a victory in November by a, smaller, by a margin smaller than the number of young and minority voters who couldn't cast ballots because of the photo ID laws enacted by Republican governors uh, and legislators. He said that um, Democrats, in fact, the country, should ignore the results. Mass demonstrations would be in order. So would a congressional refusal to confirm any of Romney's appointments. The president premised on racist restriction of the franchise creates a political 
and constitutional crisis and responding to it with resigned acceptance or inaction would negate America's hard-won commitment to democracy and equality. I think he's got a good point.